What's up guys, Chance here, and there's something I want to talk to you guys about that, you know, got brought up to me, and I felt like it was a good subject to touch on that hopefully will get you guys to understand my position of everything I do as far as my work goes. Um... I'm going to wait for you guys to pop in before I start talking here. Because I want a lot of people in here so that I can explain myself. Alright, we're good? Alright, um. Anyways. The reason not very many take a lot of the work that I do seriously. It isn't because of how I look. That's not it at all. Well, that's part of it as far as the music side things go, but as far as everything else, like, the reason I don't get taken seriously is because of the fact that I didn't finish high school because, believe it or not, my principal was very racist. And I was not able to finish high school, so I literally had to, she left me with no choice but to drop out. I didn't want to, but literally they would not allow me to graduate. Like, we fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it. And it did no good. Like, literally, it did zero good to fight that because she has so much leeway and so many like friends in the school board that it wouldn't have done any good and in not graduating high school I wasn't able to go to college and take classes for stuff that I really wanted to do with my life like doing video game design work um, you know, like as some of you may know, I do do 3D sculpting design work. Um, I do voiceover work. Um, you know, um, I not that long ago, I also recently worked with an ex friend of mine. Um, uh, his name was Robert Hooley. He actually runs the small time gaming company hit the fan studios and at that time that I was working with him I had people who just and even to this day it still happens like I was having people steal a lot of my artwork a lot of my digital paintings that I do a lot of my sculptings that I do and with me not having any money to afford classes or afford copyrights to that stuff because I did not know about free copyrights back then. I did not know that you could go online and legally register your stuff. Nobody told me. So in doing so, and then doing all that to me, because as you guys know, I did write and release a book not that long ago, which unfortunately I had to take down. Well, not really take down, but I went through a self-publishing site called Lulu.com, it's L-U-L-U.com. I had released a book called Soul Senses, which I happen to have, which I'll grab here in a minute and show you guys. But due to people loving to take my work, for whatever reason, I don't understand why they do it either. I never could figure that part out. Even to this day, like, I'm totally lost as to why they love to do that shit. Awesome, man. I appreciate that, Chad. Thank you. Um, right now, I might not be able to do much as far as beats because right now my speakers are currently... The, like the speakers that go to the computer are currently not working, but I'm hoping to get that part resolved shortly. I really am. But 
you know, also, like, you know, it's just mainly about people taking a lot of my stuff and claiming it as their own, and me not having any money, you know, I'm not able to, you know, fight back like I want to be able to. Like, I really would like to be able to fight back against these guys and say, hey, you know, stop taking my and all that good stuff, but unfortunately I can't. And, you know, and in them doing that around that time period when I was working with Robert, because we were working on a really great game called Possession Pen, on top of some other games, which I've done not only the music for, but the voice acting for. Um, one game I actually got the honor to actually do the voice of the main character who was basically trapped in this house and he had basically lost his memory and he goes around looking for clues to who he is and every so often he'll hear these voices and get these phone calls throughout the game and like he's trying to figure out who this murderer person is that he hears about that people have been telling him about throughout the game and at the end of the game it turns out that he's the killer out of all of it so it was a really fun game to do i had a lot of fun playing the character um i really did have an interest in the time doing that but because of people you know taking my artwork and stealing a lot of my stuff i not only lost my position as a voice actor and music artist on Tits of Fan Studios, but I ultimately lost Robert as a good friend. Which, and that still does this that stuff because he had actually gone to school for game designing and he was actually in the military. And after he got out, you know, he picked back up where he wanted to continue off in high school, which was to do game design. So ultimately, I kind of lost that ability to be able to do that. And thanks, man. That really does mean a lot, Chad. But as a matter of fact, I can actually show you guys a few 3D sculptures that I've actually done over the years. Just give me a pull up and I'll show you guys. So hold on. I'm going to now show you guys. Hopefully I have the chargers. Yeah, I got it. Sorry about that. Alright, that guy's one thing had the head froze and I had the charge, but here are just a few sculpture designs that I've done over the years. This is all done digitally. I've done this using the program Sculptress on my main PC. As you guys can see, I have different ones. This one's one of my favorites right here. I love that one. And then there's this one right here. So those are just like a few of them. I do have others which I will show you here shortly. Uh, actually, give me a minute and I will show you those as well. Because I definitely want you guys to see what I can do. Like literally the full extent of my capabilities. And what I can do. So give me just a minute here to pull everything up. And as you guys see, I'm rocking the Operation Smile card there, which I actually got because I actually have been a long time volunteer for Operation Smile, so shout out to Operation Smile for sure, man. Hold on, I 
Alright guys, I'm trying to find it here. While I'm trying to find it, I will switch you guys back over to here. But like I was saying guys, you know, like I've got all this skill, but literally I have like no money. So really I can't do much. And it sucks because people keep asking me, they're like, dude, like, where did you learn how to do all this? And how did you get into it? And ultimately... It comes down to, you know, the fact that I've always loved video game designing. Um, I've been working on a um, game myself through RPG Maker MV when I had the chance. Um, you know, like, I had a couple RPG games I was supposed to release actually this year, but due to the computer messing up a lot and not letting me back into the main account I was not able to finish those which it really sucks and it really does suck that it will not let us in for whatever reason like it'll sit there and say the password's correct but yet it won't take it and we're just like well what the hell is going on so it definitely sucks Hey, not much, man. Just kind of really filling these guys in on basically where I stand as far as people taking my stuff seriously. Like, and like where I stand as far as that goes. So, I mean, it definitely does suck that, you know. People just do not take my stuff seriously just because, you know, I don't have the same education in doing stuff like that as most people would. Oh, dude, I definitely will, for sure. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to do many 3D sculpture designs as quick or as easily right now because of the fact that, like I said, you know, my computer, it will not let us into the administrative account even though we do have the correct password. So really, I'm not going to be able to do much. Um, I can come up with you know quick concept designs that's not a problem i can do anime and comic style concepts that's not an issue but really ultimately i would love to get back into doing 3d design work um i am going through an online program right now which it's not as good as sculptress but it's it's all right like it works but it's not to you know it's not one that i'm that familiar with I mean, it's not that I'm not familiar with this other program, it's just like, it's just not one I would prefer to use. I know for a lot of people out there, you know, they do prefer the more complicated stuff. But with me, man, you give me about 20 minutes on sculptures and I'll come out with something crazy. I definitely will think about that, Chad. Thank you very much, man. I definitely appreciate that. Um, and also, if you guys can't tell, right here I do actually have a game design program I am working with right now called Game Salad. Um, I already have it set up, so I don't need to worry about that. But right now I go through a couple of stuff. I go through um, a site called GDev app, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I do that, and ultimately I do voiceovers as well, like, in the past I've done, like I said, I've done some pretty cool voiceovers, and basically everything I've learned over the years, I'm self-taught in. Everything from music, voiceovers, um, game creation, 3D sculpting, I've learned everything on my own. 
Because like I said, and as you guys know, by now I'm sure that I didn't have the luxury of finishing high school. Like, I wasn't able to do that as much as I would have loved, 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 loved to finish high school. I wasn't able to do that due to the fact of, like I said, our head principal being very much racist, which is not fair. So I wasn't able to, you know, get that chance to walk the stage. Um, and believe it or not, a little something, a little tidbit about that is they waited until the day just before I had graduated. The day I was supposed to graduate, that day before that, they had took and said I couldn't graduate due to the fact that I did not have all my credits. When, believe it or not, I had all my credits and even a few extra. And that day before they had said that, we had just had an assembly and I had literally just gotten the most improved student of the year award. And I went from shitty Fs and D's to A's, B's, and even a few C's here and there. Like I had worked my ass off every day just to graduate and I didn't graduate. I wasn't, if I would have finished, I wouldn't have graduated with my original class. I actually was, you know, when I was younger, I was held back a little bit. So I would have, I was about 18 at the time when they had said, you know, you can't graduate. But like due to us moving around a lot, I kind of had to go between school and school and school. So ultimately I didn't, I wasn't going to be graduating until I was like 20, which it does suck, but you know, like, I still would have graduated nonetheless. And at that point, that's all that mattered to me was graduating. Oh, dude, yes, I do play Call of Duty. Um, Believe it or not, I actually have Call of Duty Black Ops 1 for the Nintendo Wii, and right now, all I have right now on hand at this point in time is my Kindle Fire, which I'm doing the live stream on right now. Uh, like I said, my computer, my PC, my desktop PC, and a Nintendo Wii, which I can play both, you know, Nintendo Wii and GameCube games on, as well as a few ROMs and emulators where I can play some old school games like Nintendo. Um, like, you know, just different stuff, like Nintendo, PlayStation 1, like the original PlayStation. Um, I don't have any PlayStation games on there yet, but I do plan on getting some, like Gran Turismo. I'm a very big Gran Turismo fan. Love that series. Um, in my honest opinion, it's one of the best old school racing game simulators out to date. Because it's still, to this day, growing really strong. But right now, currently on the Wii for emulators, I have Game Boy Advanced, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. So like, I have a pretty decent amount of games to mess around with. But I do do play, you know, in games like Call of Duty. I believe so, yeah. I'm not for sure. I'd have to look into it, but I think so. I know they have that thing where you check in. Like, if you go somewhere, you can, you know, plug up, check in, and do whatever. I know they have that, but I will look into that for sure. But also, I do have a very interesting game for you guys that I want to show you guys real quick. It's actually... If you guys have ever heard of Mugen, if you guys don't know what Mugen is, it's basically a program that allows you to create your own fighting game using characters from different games or even custom ones that you make yourself, which believe me, it is so hard creating custom characters. I've tried it. It is way too hard doing that shit, so I use custom ones. 
Nice. That's what's up, man. Uh, believe it or not, to this day, I still hold... I don't know how I still hold this record. It is beyond me. But... To this day, believe it or not, I still hold the top world record for downhill drifts on Need for Speed Underground 2 for GameCube. And you can thank my older brother for getting me into the Fast and Furious movies, which got me into drifting, as well as the anime series Initial D. If you have not seen Initial D, definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. It's great. But what got me into drifting as far as that is actually, you know, when I was watching it, I was like, okay, how do I do this? How can I learn how to do this? And then right after I had seen Initial D, that's when I went right out and I bought Need for Speed Underground 2 for GameCube. And, you know, like... Right after that, I was like, okay, this is fun. I like doing this. And at the time, it was so underground doing competitions for that kind of stuff that I did not know that they had, you know, had this whole, you know, world of, you know, drifting competitions. I didn't know they had communities like that back then. So ultimately, literally up till like a couple of years ago, when I had joined up with my now... Um, drift gaming team extreme speeds with my brothers well not really my brothers but they're like we're so close that we're like literally like family um, Ethan and Ricardo like when I had recorded on my 3ds I do also have a 3ds too but it doesn't work right now so really I can't include that in working systems but I had recorded my Need for Speed Underground 2 downhill drift run way back when because I was getting into doing YouTube back then. And, you know, when I got into that, I was like, you know, this is fun. And I had discovered that I had beaten the world record for, um, the um, Hilltop Mansion run on the Speed Underground 2, which is all downhill. So really, it's just all about control going down that mountain. Uh, it's got everything from long slides to hairpins, and if you're not careful, you will hit a wall. So ultimately, that's kind of what got me into doing drifting like I do now through um, Oscillator Racing, which is for Android and iOS. I checked it out. They do have it for both. They don't have multiplayer, though, which I did message the guys about it. The guys that made the game, I contacted them. I was like, look, if you guys were to throw, say, multiplayer in, as well as being able to do, you know, customizations like you can do on Underground 2, you know, that would make it that much better. And to the points where you can, like, you know, and I'm not talking just body kits. I'm talking like the full thing, like adding in your own graphics from your Kindle or your mobile device to custom hoods, custom rims, which they do have custom rims. I am glad that they do have that. But like being able to really customize your own car on also little racing, I think would really bring that game out a lot more. But let me show you guys something here. Let's see if I can find it here. But um, I do have a few games that I had worked on in the past, like I was saying. You know, I do have a few of those, so. And would I like to get back into doing those? Hell yeah, I would. But I'm going to show you guys the Mugen game that I had worked on for a while here. Which I think you guys will like a lot. 
If you guys recognize any of these characters, just give it a shout out and let me know. Like, you know, what you guys recognize them from. Oh, let's see if it'll load. Come on. Ah, crap, it's not one to load. Oh, wait, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. As you guys see, you got a full-on roster. You got a lot of good Dragon Ball Z characters. Everything from Goku to uh, Super Saiyan God Goku to Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Naruto, you got Naruto, Sasuke, and all of them. You got One Piece. You got Fairy Tail. You got Hunter x Hunter, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, Bleach, which if you guys know me, I'm very big on Bleach. I actually know the guy that plays Seto Kaiba from Bleach. His name is Eric Stewart. Amazing guy. Awesome guy all around. He's very nice. Very cool. Um, you got Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Zatch Bell. Noragami. Pokemon, of course. You know I had to throw that in there. And then Digimon. So, like, that is that. I do have custom characters. Um, I am working on adding more. So, that is that. Hold on, let me plug in here before this thing dies. Alright, we're good. Alright, hold on, chat. I'm going to try looking that guy up here in just a minute. Many people with Medicare may be able to get extra benefits and don't even know they're available. You may be able to get dental, vision, but and prescription drug coverage included in You know, like now you guys kind of you know know my situation and why not a lot of people taking it seriously. And also, like I promise, I will show you that book I had written that got forcibly taken down. So give me just one minute. Alright, here we go. Here we are, right here. This is the book I had released. As you can see, you got my name right there. And got that right there. And I wrote this back in, I want to say, I started this back in high school. And I posted it on a site that I thought was safe. To, you know, save my work. But, you know, and I left it on there for many years until I got back into book writing again. And, you know, ultimately, you know, putting my stuff up there and not knowing that there were people out there who could steal stuff like that, which to this day I'm still, you know, you know, dumbfounded about, like, how do you guys sit there and do that shit like that? And that's one thing that to this day, it still confuses me. Like, if you guys know me, you guys know that everything I do is original. I work my ass off on everything I do. Everything from book writing, voice acting, you know, 3D sculptures like you guys have seen. Um, I work very hard on everything I do. And I mean very hard, like, and people keep asking me, they're like, dude, why can't you run your own company? Well, that's the problem. In order to run my own company, I need to work for a company, get paid, so I can start up my own stuff and go through all that. But, like, you know, I can do literally everything from graphic work, um, 
comic style concept designs and just literally ultimately everything in general yeah exactly which honestly lately I'm surprised it hasn't happened as much which I'm honestly surprised about because believe it or not I do have a very special love for graffiti art and you know what it's represented over the years like um, a few of my favorite graffiti artists that actually now do graffiti work for professional galleries are like um, one of them being Coke, um, TK, or KT, however you say it. But um, even Robbo and Banksy, like two very great artists in their own respect. Like I very much hold a very high respect for all those guys. And it's sad to see that it's actually dying off. So, you know, in my own way, I do try to keep it alive. I guess you could say. But, you know, like, and also, if you guys have not seen, I also do, do custom... 3D car designs, and as soon as this charges up a little bit, I will actually show you guys the but um, like I said, right now this is on one percent, so like I'm keeping it on charge, so it's about two or three percent. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll show you guys my custom 3D car designs that I do through a site called stuner.net where you can create your own custom cars um, you can add your own graphics, engine all that good stuff so like ultimately you know I have this wide range of you know skills that I can use ultimately to, you know actually get somewhere but like I said my problem is with companies especially in the game designing world you know not many companies are willing to take me seriously because I don't have that money to you know take the classes and like you know I literally had to learn everything on my own and it sucks too because like you know creating games is something I've always had a passion for and, you know, and that's kind of like, has been kind of like my plan B a lot of the times. Like, you know, like if I wasn't able to get into, you know, baseball like I wanted to, I had ultimately, you know, wanted to do game designing, music work, all that good stuff. Like, I basically wanted to learn the entire spectrum of game designing. Not much, man. You didn't really miss much at all, buddy. But, Chad, I definitely thank you, man. You're definitely a huge help, bro. Um, I definitely will look your friend up for sure, man. So, thank you so much, dude. Um, really, ultimately, right now at this point in time, the only thing I'm lacking to be able to, you know, continue... You know, the work that I do now is ultimately either a new computer or a way to get into the administrative account, which, and that's another thing too that does play into it is that, is like, you know, people say that they can do this and do that for me. And, you know, ultimately I'm stupid enough to trust these guys who say that they're willing to help me out and then ultimately in the end you know they wind up turning the other direction and screwing me over for whatever reason so like really like you know I keep on getting screwed over and screwed over and to the point to where whenever somebody is honest about it 
you know, and as you guys know, I do live with my mom here at home. And I do have to help take care of her, especially after Monday, because Monday she does go in for knee surgery. So, you know, I am kind of having to be here at home to help take care of her. And ultimately, really, that's what I've done my whole life, really, is, you know, help take care of my older brother until he had passed away back in 2015 from lung cancer. And now with, you know, my mom and her not being able to do much, I have to be here at home to help her out. Because she can't do much. So, like, I mean, would I like to get my own place? Yeah, I would, but, you know, if I can make things work right here from where I'm at, you know, why not do that? And so, you know, it does definitely suck at times, you know, being in the position that I'm in. Because ultimately, you know, I kind of have to work harder than most to, you know, get that little bit of recognition that people with all that money in their rightful places get right off the bat. So really, instead of, you know, being able to say, hey, you know, like I'm a respected creator, designer, music artist, what have you. You know, I have to work that much harder for it. I have to work my butt off to gain just that little bit of recognition. And is it fair that I have to do that? Not really. But ultimately, the people that screw me over are the ones that kind of made me like that. Like, they're the ones that really, you know, put me in that position to have to work that much harder than I already have to because... You know, on one hand, you know, I'm sitting here doing my stuff and trying to make a life for myself out of doing what I love and making a career out of all of that. And then on the other hand, I have people take my work and I have to worry about, you know, what stuff of mine is getting stolen, what stuff I have to go back and re-steal back from these people and this and that. So it's a constant fight between the two sides. And it, it sucks. Like, you know, I'm not the richest guy in the world. Like, I literally have no money. All I have with me are my skills of what I know how to do. Like, that's all I know is what I know how to do. I can't even work right now. Ultimately, because of, like I said, you know, my ex-girlfriend got into my head, messed with my head really bad. And I mean really bad, like she manipulated me and I didn't see it coming at all. And ultimately, you know, that led to me hurting my mom and me going to jail overnight. And ultimately me catching a record for that, even though it was dropped down from a charge, a felony charge to a misdemeanor, you know, it still sticks with me. And am I proud of that? No. I am not proud of that at all. That's... One thing I'm not proud of, but thankfully I'm not like that anymore because I had an amazing counselor who really helped me out for like that entire year. Well, let's see what charge on. All right, we're still at 1%. So like, you know, and ultimately because of that charge, I'm not really able to work because like, you know, jobs around here, they don't particularly hire people or like to hire people who have charges like what I got when I got arrested, so it does make it hard. And so, you know, instead of, and this is one thing I've always been told throughout my high school career by certain teachers. Even in Florida, you know, I have certain teachers that have told me what I'm about to tell you guys. And that is, you know, if you're going to work, if you're going to do something for the rest of your life, and you're going to work for the rest of your life, why not do something you love? Why not do 
your dream job as your career. Make that your focus. Make that your dream. Make that your goal every day. Which is what I do. I, on top of gaming, you know, I work my butt off on learning how to do different voices for voice acting. Um, I can do a few voices real easily. Like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the anime series Ronin Warriors. But if you have not seen Ronin Warriors... There is actually a foot soldier, and if I can find an empty cup here, ah, oh, this will work. Um, and I'm gonna chuck this down, and then I will show you guys what I can do using just this cup. Mm. Mm. Good thing it was on Sunday, but like. Alright, you see, empty cup, right? Nothing in there. There is actually a foot soldier in the first episode of Ronin Warriors that I can do mockingly straight up to the T. Like, I actually freak people out when I do it. Um, I can also do Jar Jar Binks, like, not that well, but I can do him. I can do somewhat do Stitch. If you guys know Lilo and Stitch, I'm able to do a little bit of Stitch. Um, I can do Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z, or, yeah, Majin Buu. Um, but right now, what I'm going to show you first off is actually the foot soldier from Rune of Warriors. He's actually the bad guy, one of the foot soldiers of the bad guy, Tulpa, in the series. But there's this one scene where, like, it's an amazing scene. Like, what he does is incredible. Like, I can't remember all of his lines off the bat, even though I've seen it, like, 50 million times. But there's one scene where the Ronin Warriors had just beaten him. And as he's getting destroyed, he's like, I have failed you. And it's literally just like this. It's like... Master, I have failed you. He literally does that as he's being destroyed. 